Hey guys, welcome back to <clears throat> Naveen Automation Labs. This is Naveen here. So guys, today I'm going to cover that. Uh, what do you mean by map interface? Again, this is a part of the collection framework series. So map is also a kind of collection which is used to store the value in the form of key and value pair format. So in this particular session, I'm going to tell you what are different uh, maps are available in Java. Okay. And uh, what are different uh, hierarchy based uh, architecture in terms of map like what are different interfaces what are different classes are available and in the next sessions i'll tell you that uh, each and every purpose of okay different maps are available in java okay so quickly just like we created that uh, for list object set object okay just like for map objects Okay, I'll teach you that uh, what are different uh, map interfaces and what exactly the hierarchy is available. You must know about this hierarchy for interview point of view and knowledge point of view. Okay, so if you're talking about map interface. Okay. So map interface we are talking about today. So we have one interface is available. That interface is called map. Okay. So map interface is let's see I'm deno which is denoted by a rectangle and the name is map and this is interface. Okay, this is interface. So map is an interface which is already available in Java and there are number of uh, classes are available. There are two classes are available under this particular map. So map is denoted by let's see this particular circle one and uh, two. These two classes are available and these two class names are okay hash table okay hash table is from map family guys always remember it is from map family and another one is that hash map okay and we will see later that okay what is the difference between hash map and hash table both are coming from map interface both are implementing map interface okay so hash table is implementing map interface and hash map also is implementing map interface okay and uh, under this hash map we have okay one more class that class is called okay we have one more class and this particular class is called guys linked hash map okay although linked hash map generally we don't use in automation but this is somewhere not that important but we must know we should know that what do you mean by linked hash map and this particular linked hash map is extending hash map okay is extending hash map now we have another interface okay which is a child interface of this particular map interface okay so this particular map in okay interface is called sorted map okay this is also interface so sorted map is an interface which is extending map interface okay this particular guy is extending map interface okay so this is called extending okay and we have under that particular sorted map we have one more interface is there that is called navigable map although we never use navigable okay navigable map but according to their Java architecture, the collection map inter interface architecture, we have one more interface is available. This interface is called Navigable map. Okay, let me write it for you. Navigable. Okay, this is also interface. Okay, Navigable map. This is also interface. And this interface is extending, okay, sorted map okay this interface is also extending sorted map and under that navigable map okay we have one class this particular class is called guys tree map okay this particular class is called tree map okay this is tree map so this is a map family and this tree map is implementing navigable map interface implementing navigable map interface so this is the map interface family that we have map interface under that we have hash table and hash map under that we have sorted map 
uh, okay this is map interface which is okay extending okay uh, map interface and then we have another that is called navigable map which is again an interface which is extending sorted map and this tree map is a class which is implementing navigable map okay so these three are interfaces are available in map okay we have map interface on top then we have sorted map then we have navigable map and these are the four classes are available hash table hash map linked hash map and tree map so these two are very important hash table and hash map and sometimes tree map also we can use and sorted map is already in sorted order so sorted map i'll teach you that it's very simple sorted map and all okay but you have to concentrate on hash table and hash map so what do you mean by map in list object guys we have seen that okay in array list and linked list we have to store the value on the basis of indexes and there is no key and value pair format <clears throat> but in map <clears throat> what is the definition the very basic definition is that in map we store the value on the basis of key and value so this will be a key and value like this or we can say like this map k and y k comma sorry v k comma v key and value okay so now sometimes what happens that okay this particular okay key is always unique value can be duplicate value cannot be duplicate on the basis of what kind of map you are using okay automatically it will be sorted order non-sorted order okay only uh, uh unique elements are allowed in the form of values okay so some properties are available in tree map okay so these are the different uh, uh, things are available with respect to map interface so map is always used guys remember always it is used to store the value on the basis of key and value pair format key and value pair format let's see i have uh, uh, some key uh, if you take some example let's see i'll create some map okay let's see like this a string comma string so this means a key can be a string and value will be a string i'm creating the object let's see m is equal to new map again string comma string like this so if i write like this it means in this particular okay map i can add okay m dot we have a method m dot i'm not writing any code okay i'm just giving you an example that m dot put let's see then the key is name comma the name is tom like this m dot put okay let's see the key is uh, okay department and the department is let's see admin like this okay so this is called key and this is called value okay so this is how we are putting the values how to get the value simple m dot get and we have to pass the key let's see I'm passing the key is name so it will return tom okay what exactly it will return it will return tom if i write m dot get department it will return admin like this so always remember hash map or maps hash table tree map linked hash map everything is based on key and value pair format in list object in set object we don't store the value on the basis of key and value in array list we just store the value on the basis of okay indexes okay in list object okay simple uh, zeroth index we will put some value on first index we will put some value okay like that so how to iterate and what is the difference between hash map and hash table okay why hash table is important than hash map why hash map uh, different features are available in hash map okay we will be using so let's see you're fetching some data from excel file so your column will be your keys and the values will be your values so column will be let's see name first name last name email id address phone number all these things will be called keys and you are adding some value you are entering some value you are putting some value for these keys okay so this is called hash map in java so always remember map means key and value pair format whenever you see map key and value pair format so okay one more thing so if you see for all the classes and interface map keyword is there map hash map linked hash map tree map navigable map sorted map but for hash table 
there is no map we have written but always remember don't be confused with this thing some people say that okay hash table is not a uh, part of map interface family it is part of map interface family okay so don't be confused with the name that okay hash table is part of maybe a collection family list or set okay but map is different okay a tree a hash table is part of map only always remember this thing okay so one more thing i want to tell you that one more feature that is now some important examples they might ask you okay give me the best examples of map either it in the form of uh, your application or maybe some automation so first example guys i'll give you the first example we will okay examples of map today i'm not going to write any code in the next uh, uh, tutorial i'll tell you each and every okay collection each and every i mean map collection the first is always remember that maps are perfectly designed for key and value operations or associations are available in that case let's see some error codes okay you want to store some error codes that okay for this particular error okay let's see for 1.2.1 uh, sometimes we see that okay 900 1.21 900.001 error is there so this is the key and the value will be let's see um, some uh, fatal error something like this okay so error codes is the one of the example that okay we store in the form of maps okay let's see the map of we would say zip codes state wise okay area wise okay we can store that okay this particular area area a is having this particular zip code area b is having this particular zip code in bangalore let's see uh core mangla is having uh, 560068 whitefield is having different zip code okay so this is one of the example that okay map of zip codes also we can use some any typical any kind of application that map of uh, uh, managers and employee association a manager is associated with the list of employees okay that he manages so this is also one of the example that you can give a <coughs> map of managers and employees okay a particular manager can have multiple employees okay so each man manager is the key so what exactly let's see naveen is a manager is having multiple list of okay employees a particular cl uh, okay, class teacher is having number of list of students are available okay so like that also it can be done okay so different other typical methods are available. okay these are the three examples generally we can take okay the example of <coughs> maps error codes is very important in in terms of automation also you're talking about that whenever you have to store the value the test data okay test data storage other example that uh, uh, <coughs> sorry if you want to store some configuration or environment variables because environment variable let's see a username password url okay all those things are available in the form of properties file same thing you can define in the form of maps also that username will be this password will be this url will be this okay so configuration environment variables also you can store test data also you can store in rest api automation if you remember we can store that uh, uh, headers okay headers in rest api this is another example of uh, that let's see content type is this authorization token is this okay or let's see that uh, if any particular value you want to pass okay such kind of thing session id is this so these examples we can pass in the form of headers <coughs> okay so we have to create the hash map for that okay some <coughs> sorry typical methods are available what are the different methods are available first method is that we have put method to add the value then we have uh, uh, put all method okay is used to insert the specified map map inside the map okay i'll tell you map in this particular map if you want to use in that case put all method is that and then we have get method we just pass the key okay and then get the value apart from that uh, one more method is there that is called contains key okay contains key that that particular key is available it will return 
okay the value of that particular uh, i mean is used to search a specified key if it is available it will return true otherwise it will return false the specific key is available or not let's see a name key is available inside the hash map it is there then it will return true otherwise it will return false one important thing is there that is called uh, one more thing is there that is uh, uh, remove you can <coughs> remove on the basis of key also okay remove on the basis of key let's see you just enter remove key key is age so age key will be removed and i think one more method is there that is called yes two methods are there key set okay <coughs> key set returns the set view containing all the keys okay which is used to iterate the hash map okay or map objects so key set is also there i'll tell you that it returns the set view okay containing all the keys okay the complete it will give you the complete view okay what are the different keys are available okay and their values if you want to iterate we have to use key set and one more is there that is called entry set okay it is called entry set which returns the set view containing all the keys and values so i'll tell you what is the difference between key set and entry set so these are the typical methods are available in <coughs> map interface okay these are methods of map we would say methods of map now the implementation and all those things okay the coding point of view i'll cover it later you can take the screenshot and please uh, practice with all these things okay because if you remember the hierarchy okay then it will really helpful for you for understanding point of view okay so that's all for uh, in this particular session in the next session we will cover some other interfaces coding point of view or other classes in collections okay thank you so much thanks for watching let me know if you have any issues and please subscribe to the channel guys the channel name is navin automation labs you can uh, go to youtube and then you can have a look over there okay thank you so much and thanks for watching